Good morning, everybody here from Monaco. I've got Ruben in the house, our videographer, rock star. I've got Oli, who you also know already. And today, oops, today is the day because today I finally, finally, finally get to drive the Koenigsegg Regera, which uh, I first saw in Geneva many, many years ago where Christian von Koenigsegg was standing there and he impressed me so much. And as you've seen in recent posts here on my YouTube channel, I did a podcast with him. And if you haven't seen that video, then go check it out because the podcast was awesome with Christian von Koenigsegg. And uh, yes, here it is. I can't see it yet. And zero to 400 in 21 seconds, which is world record. Um, so this car is absolutely insane. And here it is, the beast. The beast is right there. They may be blind to me, just wait and see. right or not but it looks to me like the one in eight special edition ultra carbon um, and I didn't know about this I even think it's a one of one it's a one of one it's one of one yeah Ollie is saying it's one of one oh my goodness I I think this is the one I saw in Geneva at the time by coincidence but phenomenal so this full carbon spec is a one of one look even the rims this is unreal completely carbon Unreal, phenomenal stuff. Check that out. Inside, look, even the inside, everything 100% carbon. Very, very cool design. It's my first ever time to be sitting in a Koenigsegg. Um, never, never been inside a Koenigsegg, so it's my first ever time. And what I'll be showing you also, it's this Christian von Koenigsegg in phenomenal attention to detail. You can start to see the way the door, uh, the door system opens like everything carbon, even, even in the smallest details. You can see the door, door rod there, carbon, everything to perfection. The active aerodynamics as well. So we've got this big, big rear wing active aerodynamics. Surely you've got the whole, the whole back end that's, that's active as well. Let's have a look in there. Whoa, look, that's the exhaust guys. Like massively the most efficient exhaust shape I've ever seen. I don't know how you made that work how to keep the air flowing there without losing too much power by doing such a small outlet shape. That is pretty damn impressive. So you can just see he works on every single detail. Huh? Even the aerodynamics here around this part. What is that part anyways? Oh. oh, okay, so that's the cooling coming out there. So even massive aerodynamic solution, just like an F1 car. Just like an F1 car here with these shark fins around there. Okay, so now I guess we're gonna jump in. Okay, Frederick, right? Yes. So Frederick, let me just get in very carefully so I don't scratch any of this most amazing. Does it have like a, does it have a PTFE tape on it? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just, I was part. just really worried about scratching this carbon, but there's of course heli tape on it, so don't need to get worried about that. Yeah. So please explain to me how to get going in this. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, it's an advanced car, but it's pretty easy to drive it. So start, stop, onion. So press one time without uh, the brake, then you you wake up the car. Yeah. Everything comes to life. Whoa. <laughs> so the whole car has just come alive here. Yes. So now it's just woken up, so you can drive in pure EV mode, electrical mode. Now because it's on. Yeah, now it's okay, on. So the, now it's electric mode on. Exactly, and that's pretty basic. Just okay. put the foot on the brake and yep. polish it off uh, yep. up on the right side. Yeah. So we're good to go, I guess. Yes. Really nice grip on the steering wheel. Feels really great, racy. That's cool. Okay, so um, I, I've taken my, uh, my shoes off, so that's what it looks like now. Just to make sure I don't scratch anything. So what's the first stop, Oli? The Monaco Pier. And then? And then we go up to the mountain. Serious? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So, switch the engine. <laughs> engine is on. Park brake. Oh man, I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to manage to get going. Disengage park brake. No, that was the windscreen wiper. Oh, it disengaged automatically. Okay, fine. There we go. Okay, careful with the... Oh, it's amazing! Amazing! So cool. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That had quite some drive. That had quite some drive in first gear there. What a phenomenal, phenomenal car. 
Okay, now we're getting to the F1 track here. Können wir eigentlich mal einen Race Start noch mal probieren, wenn er mir nicht hinten drauf fährt. <lacht> Crazy. The door system is sick. Absolutely sick, like science fiction. Okay, so are you ready for are you ready to hit the ghost mode? Three, two, one. Just kidding, that was just uh, uh, I was just testing you guys. Three, two, one. What am I doing wrong? You have to double click it. It actually says down there. Where? You have to double click on the side of the key. Ah, uh, not on carbon keys, on the... Uh... Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry yeah. so, <laughs> not, on car not on carbon keys. Yeah. Double click. Yeah! <laughs> Sick. That is good. Like on another planet. So, so Kim, please explain to us how there's no gears on this car. There's no gears, um, and there's a torque motor. And so, how does that work, please? And let's take the example of I'm doing I'm doing 150 kph, yes. and I go full gas. Yes. Okay. So probably at that point I'll be like in the middle range of the RPM. Yeah. Which is then uh, how much is that going to be? That's going to be five thousand. No, three and a half. So I go full power. Yeah. So of course the electric motor is going to give it everything, everything it has, I have. and the engine as well at 3,500 RPM. Yes. Okay. Now what happens? The uh, torque motor uh, releases the inside uh, clutch and just lets all the power from the engine, which ever can be uh, made, yeah. directly to the differential. Yeah. And then on the differential sits another two electric motors, which also help the car yes. to accelerate. Okay, but now if we do not have any gears, there will be a very uh, poor performance uh, the from the from the motor because the gear ratio will be way too long yeah. since it needs to last all the way to 400 kph. Yeah. So what does it do to give me a much shorter gear ratio in theory? Uh, at the 150 kph where I'm still at. That's the trick of the uh, torque converter. The torque converter is, uh, is like a clutch without a wear, uh, so it can uh, slip a little bit so the RPM of the engine can go up and then transform the power directly to the, uh, to the differential or to the uh, rear wheels. Yeah, but I'm at 3,500 on the RPM. Yes, but the engine the RPM like, is not going to go up. If you imagine going uh, on, like a, on a manual car, yeah. it's like you have the clutch half pushed. Yeah. Then the rev can go up of the engine yeah. and you can accelerate. Okay. And then you slowly go off. Oh, the so clutch. then like at 250, I'll be at max revs. Exactly. And then it's just the torque motor that does the rest? Yes. Serious? That's sick. I'm starting to understand it now. So until 150, most of it is done from the torque motor. From the torque motor, at, yes. at relatively low RPM. Yes. So we're at 3000, so the RPM will stay pretty low, yeah. all the way until 150. Yeah. Everything is done from the torque converter, yeah. in terms of actual gear, changing the gear ratio dynamically along the way. Exactly. And then when I get to 150, the torque uh, motor is then fully locked up. Exactly. Direct transfer to the differential yes. or to the tires. Yes. And then the rest is done with the RPM. Yes. I got it. Would this car be faster if it had gears as well? Yes, no. of course. Yeah, but you don't have any uh, any shifting, so. Yeah, okay, but still, then you'd have the added advantage of the torque converter plus the gears. You'd probably be even faster. No, no? Uh, uh, the the main idea for Christian was to make it more efficient. A gearbox loses seven to fifteen percent of uh, power and yeah. uh, fuel efficiency. Yeah. And uh, for that reason, he said. I don't want to lose so much efficiency or so yeah, much yeah, energy yeah. into a gearbox. That's why you wanted to get rid of the gearbox yeah. and have become more efficient. Yeah. yeah, efficiency is a big thing. Also fuel consumption efficiency and everything. Exactly. Big, big thing as well. Okay, phenomenal. Um, thank you so much, You're Kim. welcome. Uh, I think uh, uh, our viewers uh, <laughs> and, and myself, we understood. <laughs> Man, that is a technologically advanced, huh? Battery cannot be seen um, as per usual. And it's, it's down in the center console. And of course, you can see how it pops out there. Um, that's because cells are lined up there and, and going all the way down there. And, uh, and of course the battery, the housing, of course, is done all by Koenigsegg themselves, uh, carbon housing, but the inside, the cells, the layout and everything and the cooling system is done by Remac. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of Remac. Um, and, uh, and, and Mate himself also said that he's a big fan of Christian von Koenigsegg. And what I can see they have in common is this passion for perfection, for innovation, for being the best in the world, for doing things 
in the way that never no one's ever done them before and just this attention to detail it's really like almost i mean it's, it's extreme huh? it's really extreme but just awesome one more little fact so of course the the roof can be manually taken off i'll find out later how much it weighs and then you can store it in this front luggage compartment it just has a perfect fit in the front luggage compartment the roof so how cool is that please before we get going, the fuel is E85, which is ethanol, so it's a plant-based fuel, which of course as well, in terms of using our resources, is already a lot better than, uh, than making the fuel from oil, of course. All right, so enough pictures, talking, blah, blah, blah. Let's take this car into action now in the mountain. technology ultimate performance uh, engineering performance also engine but it is it's um because there's more going on you know with uh, with the turbo charge with uh, with the rpm coming up slowly and the torque motor doing most of the most of the uh, ratio uh, increase in the beginning to give you more horsepower um, so there's a lot going on so it's probably not as pure as like a as a direct transfer v12 aspirated uh, la ferrari uh, but nevertheless, you know, you still feel like amazing power. Uh, of course, more power than the LaFerrari and, and just spectacular to drive. Spectacular. So in terms of the powertrain, there's a difference. Um, there's more going on, you know, there's the, the, the turbo that comes in. And then there's also in the first phase, um, the, the RPM that only rises slowly and the power transmission is increased by the clutch. Uh, uh, connecting more which is the torque motor in a sense you know so there's like many many things going on which are different to for example a LaFerrari which just has a direct you know very transparent uh, uh, acceleration more RPM is more power and that's it but as a result there's just more potential in this you know and just more power overall in total uh, as a result of all this high technology in the powertrain so very very impressive can I turn around hello can I come now? Ah, I can't understand. I can't understand what's going on here. Let's go, let's go, let's hit it.
epiphany moment. You know, I've, I've been fighting against this key problem for the whole day that it doesn't, that if you put the key there, it works. But if you put it in your pocket or whatever, the car doesn't recognize it anymore. And I couldn't understand, like you put it there and it just falls down. And I could understand, come on, Koenigsegg, like, you must have, you thought of everything. Why haven't you thought of that? And I just had the epiphany moment now. Solution, turn it around and then you got the magnet and then it sticks there and it doesn't fall off. <laughs> and the police. Bonjour, attends, attends, attention, la, la, la porte euh, ouvre. Mais on a déjà fait sur, dans les montagnes, je vais au bureau maintenant. Mer merci beaucoup. Merci, euh, je ferme ça. Grandmother, grandmother running past just as I was opening the damn door. That was scary as hell. But there's good sensors. So the door sensed that there was a the grandmother. Sorry for this rubbish outro. I had to run up to the office here to do the podcast with Alain Prost, which has really, really turned out very, very nicely. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when we launch that podcast. I think you're going to be amazed. It's, it was so cool to speak to him. Before we end this video, I just want to take you through some performance facts from the Regera. So 1,500 horsepower, of course, hybrid. Uh, so if you've got the electric motor on the back end, it's two-wheel drive. Um, we've got 1,420 kilograms of dry weight. Uh, so qu definitely quite a light car um, and 0 to 400 22.5 seconds around which is a world record so absolutely phenomenal at 240 50 kph you got 450 kilograms of downforce um, that number is the only one which is now not off the charts because we know McLaren Senna has 800 kilograms of downforce uh, but nevertheless for a road car that's still like absolutely excellent numbers um, so that's it with the facts and thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel um, I would like you to comment below as well I would like from you, give me three words to describe the Koenigsegg Regera. Uh, and I look forward to seeing who gets the top comment uh, with that challenge. And thanks again for watching. Subscribe again to my YouTube channel because there's a lot more action like this coming up very, very soon. Bye-bye.